So this is the uh, underside um, part of the FX Buccaneer from a couple of years ago, the 70 second scale one. Um, now when the Buccaneer was originally designed, it was designed the S in um, the, the designation S1, S2, stands for strike, uh, which indicates in British parlance that the Buccaneer's primary role was uh, of that of a nuclear bomber. It wasn't actually intended uh, originally to uh, destroy uh, the Kirov class cruisers uh, with a single large nuclear weapon. Later on in RAF service it went on to carry the WE-177 in, in a twin arrangement at the, uh, at the front of the bomb bay. Um, but in uh, fleet air arm service, certainly the uh, Buccaneer S1 um, and I believe probably the S2 as well at, for, for some time, uh, carried a single large nuclear weapon called the uh, Redbeard. And that had a, a distinct fairing um, in the bomb bay. For that weapon. So I was looking uh, around at, at references and stuff and they're pretty hard to come by um, but I, about 18 months ago or so I started playing around with designing um, designing a bomb bay and bomb for the Redbeard uh, hopefully to design something that could uh, fit into there uh, and uh, and I, myself, or anybody who had the parts, I should say, uh, to build the Redbeard um, equipped Buccaneer with the bomb on display. So fast forward, I was never really happy with what I was doing. The um, the, the, the printing quality at the time wasn't uh, what I what I wanted. Um, I upgraded to a Saturn about a year ago, and that was a certainly a, a massive improvement. But it wasn't until I got the Saturn II. A couple of weeks ago, the new uh, Elegoo Saturn II um, 8K printer. Uh, I did some tests and I realised that um, I could probably start doing something that I wanted and getting the results I was really looking for. Um, so I, I, I dragged those um, those designs back out and I uh, and I started looking again. And uh, so far, the place we're at is uh, over the last couple of weeks. I, I've been working and printing, um, and I've designed. A new bomb bay and, and bomb. So this is the bomb, it's printed vertically, so straight up on the bed at the moment. Um, it's hollowed inside, uh, it's got one large attachment point and a bunch of um, small attachment points at the base there, but that will all, literally, that snips off like so. And if I get uh, a fine, reasonably fine, um, and that's the preparation for the bomb done. Um, now you can give it a, a very light sanding if you want um, to make sure you get rid of any, any errant um, print lines although they are incredibly faint on these uh, AK prints so you can probably uh, do without it. Um, similar with the, the bomb bay here, um, it's printed at an angle to get the best quality of print. Um, I've used quite heavy supports because the locations where all these supports are mounted on the undersides and stuff uh, will be completely invisible when this is mounted. So literally, You can do it like that, or if you actually wanted to, there's nothing stopping you from um, being a little bit more gentle with it and, and using a, a saw of your choice to saw through um, the connections if you wanted to. But honestly, as you can see, it will just snap away like so, so you can dispose of the uh, dispose of the mount there um, and I should say that's after curing as well so uh, before curing it comes off even easier but at this point uh, that's all we need um, and then all you're doing is uh, there's a there's an arrow 
as you can see mounted on a plinth in here which shows you where the forward is uh, and and you can check your fit and so in actual fact you might need to uh, put, put a couple of little bits of plastic sheet underneath or something like that just to make sure it doesn't sink too far but effectively that with zero preparation has dropped straight in there and the bomb there is hollowed but it's also got the mounting hole is sized to fit that plinth there so that will just locate and there is your Buccaneer Redbeard Rotator Bombay and bomb in place. So basically, I, I would add a drop of um, five-minute epoxy at each end of the uh, each end of the bay there. And you see how it's a really, really snug fit. Um, but if you are having any trouble with the fit, it is very much more likely to be slightly too big rather than slightly too small so basically you're looking at just doing this yeah you're just taking a, a fine fine sanding block and then I, like I say I would add a, a big dollop of 5 minute epoxy at each end and uh, and press it into place until it seats um, and it is level with the underside. Um, although having said that, it, you know it, you're not looking for a perfectly seamless fit here because that's a rotating Bombay. You know, on the real thing, you know, on the real thing, that that would rotate away. You know. like so and would we'll rotate out with the bomb in place so yeah that's the uh, that is what I've been working on and refining the last week so here's one that I've just I've just thrown some paint on the bomb and the uh, and the bay here, just so you can see how it looks. Um, this is an earlier iteration before I added the uh, before I added the plinth in the bay there. But hopefully that doesn't detract from the fact that you can see the rest of the detail. The rest of the detail between the two is identical. So that's it. So yeah, um, so like I say, this is uh, that's something I've been working on myself, and it's for my own. It's been for my own enjoyment over the last eighteen months. Uh, but people have seemed to be quite uh, quite impressed with it. Um, and I will say that is uh, with no cleaning up at all, straight off the satin printer with a coat of paint. So hopefully you can see. If you look really, really carefully, you can see there's some striations and some some pretty much but they're really very very fine and from any distance you can't see them so whether you want to give that a light polish with some 800 grit um, or 1500 grit wet and dry or anything is up to you but that's that's how we're looking so done for me just for my own pleasure my own sort of uh, my own entertainment um, but people have been asking about it so I'm, I'm sort of investigating whether there's uh, any routes to uh, selling a few of these should people want them um, so stay tuned um, and you know hopefully I may have some news for you in due course about where you might be able to obtain one of these if you really want your fleet air on uh, Buccaneer to uh, to have a large nuclear weapon under the belly so uh, thanks for looking um, and I will uh, I'll talk to you again soon bye bye